Now, as promised, our next guest has returned to Jasper. Clara Adriano lost her commercial laundry business in the fires, and she's there now. Clara, thank you so much for making time for us on what I'm sure is a pretty difficult day. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, uh, given the circumstances. Uh, I'm doing okay. Now, can you describe it's, for us where you are yeah. and what's around you? I am at my um, laundry where it used to be, at least, um, if you could see behind me. Yeah, we it's can all see a it. bunch of, uh, it's a pile of rubble right now. Um, this is where our laundry that we just reopened um, last June because we had a fire last February as well. So, yeah, so this is this is the second fire that we are experiencing in five months. So, so it, it's a little emotional. T talk to me about that. As much as you feel comfortable sharing, like, you knew it had burnt down, but this is the first time yeah. seeing it up close. Yeah. What what is, was that first moment like for you? Uh, just entering Jasper has been really emotional for me. When you know, it it, it feels to be home, but it, it feels a little different. Um, I have to wear my mask right now because it's really like the burnt uh, smell is in the air. So. Um, and yeah, it's like I'm just looking around me and it doesn't look the same anymore, for sure. Now, the mask, is that to protect you from chemicals that might be in the air? Or or is that right. because it, it's just difficult to breathe? It, well, we have been advised uh, to bring masks um, because the smell is, um, is really um, smoky. Um, and it's also to protect us uh, if we go to any of the rubble or something like that, you know, for for dust particles, uh, maybe asbestos particles or any of that. So just, just keep us safe as well. So. Okay. Um, you mentioned that just coming into Jasper itself, like the minute you entered, it, it was difficult. As much as you're able to, can you describe what that process was like? You're driving down Highway 16, you go through, I guess, the checkpoint or the entry point, and then what happens? Yeah. I think at the beginning we were really excited um, because we, you don't see any signs of fire when you enter Jasper and then there's the signs, welcome residents and stuff like that. But then as we enter into the town and see the the fire residue and, and like everything around us, that when it becomes emotional um, and then as I entered here at the industrial area and, and you know, seeing our laundry and all the surrounding places around it just gone it, you know it, that's you know it just it's really emotional uh, feeling and i'm sure it's going to be for many jasperites who will be returning especially those who lost their home now your business was it alongside other businesses like are other business operators there surveying at the same time as you uh no there's nobody here yet actually if you do you want me to flip my camera sure sure sh show us around yeah, okay I, I, uh, I will do that quickly. So, so there's uh, there's some areas in this side here that were burnt as well. Not every not everything burnt down. So, but the ones beside us here. Um, so this is our laundry right here. So that's where it was before. There's the entrance door if you could see it over there. Mm. This was uh, the recycling depot on our side, and beside is it. It was where our old laundry was uh, before the fire last February. So this is the new space that we just reopened last June. So, Clara, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for what you and your neighbors and your community are going through. Thank you. I've been told mercifully your home is okay. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, I am. That's something, you know, I think that's the something I am grateful about with what happened. Um, you know, thankfully our home was spared. Um, it remains intact. So we have yet to go there. Uh, we we went straight here at the laundry to check out everything. And then after here, we're gonna head to the commemoration park to check in, see some some old friends and, you know, give, give, give hugs, get some hugs, and then go to our, um, go to our house uh, and, and check out our house. Are you nervous about seeing the house? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure yet, like right now, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I could, um, I, I hope everything is good, uh, you know, when we get back, so. 
I think I'm, I'm a little excited to see some of the Jasperites. You know, I haven't seen a lot of them because we've all been scattered across the, across the, across Alberta mm -hmm. and some are in BC. So it would be nice to see a lot of smiling faces for sure. You're not going to stay. Hopefully smiling faces. Yes, hopefully smiling faces. And yes. even if they're wearing yes, their masks, correct. you can tell when someone is smiling. Um, yes, correct. You, but you're not going to sleep in your house tonight. Is that right? Uh, no. Um, our children, um, we left them with some friends back in Calgary because um, we didn't, we weren't sure what to expect. So we will go back to Calgary, um, hopefully tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. It depends on the situation. Uh, we have to meet a few um, insurance uh, adjusters. So it, it's going to be, I don't know, it's, yeah. So we'll see how it goes uh, today and we'll decide what's the next step. Yeah, I mean, it. I feel like it's unfair to ask you this, but I sort of have to because right now you're dealing with the grief, right? It's the shock of seeing right. it. There's a grief process you have to go through. Are you, what state are you in? Like, are you thinking you're going to, restart the business, open up the laundromat again, or do you feel like, no, maybe it's time to pack that up? No, no, I, we will eventually. My husband and I still has to, uh, you know, talk about it, but um, we want to rebuild um, eventually. I just don't know how long that would take because we know how crucial the service we provide here in Jasper um, to our fellow Jasperite is. Uh, so being a tourism industry, um, uh, it's our service is very important. So we're hoping to rebuild. I just don't know when or how long it would take. So. I just want to leave on a joyful note because you talked about you're hoping to see smiling faces of the Jasperites. Talk to me about this community because all I've been reading for the past three weeks is this tight sense of community. You guys are in this beautiful part of the country sharing both that glory, that beauty together and now sharing this trauma together. Talk to me about why you love Jasper so much. Well, I've, I've, Jasper, I've been I've been here in Jasper for 17 years and, you know, I found this like a great community where everybody supports each other local support each uh, like business owners and, and, and you know it, it's very tight we were they have Jasper has uh, accepted all nationalities regardless of color so we just feel like this is home and you know I know for a fact that we will we will come out stronger um, uh, together because uh, that's the only way to move forward